I'm so glad that you can join us for this virtual lab. This week, you're being asked to add a dark mode button to your main page. The Savior taught about the extra mile. You should try and follow his teachings in all the modules in this course. And this week provides a great opportunity. If you simply follow the instructions provided in the course, you may wind up with something that looks like this. On large screens, the icon is way off in the corner all by itself. This is not good usability, nor good design. When you click the icon, the design gets even worse as you have a bright green button that most likely will not match your color scheme. We hope you will recognize that you need to go the extra mile and add your own touch to make it better. To create a dark mode button, you will be using the same approach that you did with the hamburger button. There will be an HTML tag on the screen with an ID assigned. You will grab a reference to the tag ID using JavaScript. Then when the button is clicked, you will toggle a class on or off for the main tag. All that's left is to alter the CSS a bit and you're done. When I did this activity, I decided to use a graphic image as a clickable item. On this website, I found this dark theme icon built by Microsoft. I downloaded the SVG to my computer. I put the dark mode image inside the header tag. Then I set the position of the image to absolute and the position of the parent header tag to relative. You should have learned about this in a previous class. At a minimum, you will need to change the background of the main tag and the color of the page title. You get to decide how far you want to take the extra mile. Because I used a graphic instead of an anchor or a button, the cursor did not automatically change on hover. So to improve the user experience, I added a statement to change the cursor to a pointer. To build a professional page, you do need to spend time on fine tuning the details. Little stuff like this. Let's look at the Chrome Inspect tools to see how you can make sure your site is responsive. Click the Toggle Device Toolbar. Choose Responsive from the drop-down list. Reduce the page width to 320, which is the smallest your site will ever be seen. Do your buttons work? Does it look good with your color scheme? Is it large enough? Apple recommends at least 44 pixels, and Google recommends at least 48 pixels. In this example, my dark mode button is 44. As you widen the page, does your design hold together? This assignment would get the extra mile stamp of approval. If you have any additional questions that this lab did not answer, please reach out in Teams and let's get them answered.